Hey guys, welcome back. I hope that you're all well. I am sat down today to start on a new makeover. This is going to be the office come dressing room makeover. And I am so thrilled to be showing you this one because it's actually in partnership with a company that I have admired for years, the Cotswolds Company. They do the most gorgeous interiors and I'm currently looking at a few of their fabric samples for their upholstery pieces. So I'm actually going to put on screen here the mood board that I've currently got for that room. And I think it will feel like really luxurious to have a few soft furnishings and there's something that perhaps you wouldn't always have in an office or dressing room and also because I just love a comfy seat and I'm thinking of going for perhaps a little sofa or armchair in a neutral colour like this one this is a coastal linen straw and then maybe also a footstool in a bit more of a neutral colour but dark so that it's quite practical but I'm also loving some of their blues, especially like this one, the velvet, just so lovely. Their colour schemes are really, really beautiful. Um, and to be honest, so many of their items I feel like could fit into our home. So it's going to be really difficult deciding on the ones which go into the room. And they don't do just upholstery pieces. They also do gorgeous wood pieces. They're really lovely oak pieces and pine, lots of pieces to go in various rooms, so dining rooms, kitchens, bedrooms, every room you can think of. And actually their wood is all responsibly sourced and also they know the origin of the forest that it comes from. Same goes for MDF. And I think at the moment they said it was about 45% is FSC certified and they're aiming for 100% by the end of 2022. So just a really lovely company to get behind. And I think their pieces will go just gorgeously in our home because they're, they're whole brand is kind of like this real loved lived in look which is something that I just want to echo through our whole home so that friends and family feel like they can come in and just feel completely relaxed and zen in the spaces but as you can hopefully kind of see from the mood board I'm aiming for something that is kind of feminine but also not too girly and something that just feels really really relaxing I just want to go in there especially you know when work is stressful I want to be able to go in there and just feel really at peace so that's the aim I mean the room right now is a blank canvas but if you guys remember the room before was not a blank canvas if you take it right back the room was actually previously an office too, but it was, let's say, very different to the style that I would go for. Um, it had a lot of primary colours, so dark reds and bright greens. Uh, the walls were just like plastered in lots of different pieces of paper and posters. And it was very busy. There was shelving up everywhere. Uh, the carpet was coming away. Just generally the room was in very bad repair. So as part of the renovations, we stripped the room right back. We redid the ceiling, we replastered, and we also reclaimed the original pine floorboards. And so at the point where we're starting this makeover, the room has been renovated, but it really is a blank canvas. It's very white. It's not very appealing at the moment, and I'm hoping to make it a space that I really gravitate towards. So hopefully that's given you a bit of an idea of what I would like to achieve for the room. We've got a few DIYs to get going with first, and I think I'm going to start them off tomorrow. So I will see you guys then. Today we're going to tackle the wardrobes. If you've been following along, you'll know that when we renovated this room, we popped in these wardrobes temporarily to give us storage. If I'm honest, they've really not been working for me. I hate the open door concept. Even when I try and keep it tidy, it stresses me out and looks a little bit messy, so I really want to put some doors onto it. But also, I feel like this wall just really isn't being utilised. So, we want to add a few more wardrobes in, and to do that, we're going to have to be doing a little hack, because as you can probably see behind me, we've got a sloping ceiling, so we're going to hopefully cut one of our wardrobes top off to give us storage in that corner too. This is the space emptied. Our plan of action, because this sloping ceiling is more than 50 centimeters, which is the width of this one here, we're gonna move this one along as far as possible. Ollie's using his pointy stick. Move it over to there so we don't have to cut a corner off that one. And then we're gonna rebuild that one attached to this. And then there'll be a little gap here and we'll put like a little infill panel in there. So look, kind of tidy. 
Plain shiny, but it's a little bit makeshift. This isn't a forever room or storage for this wardrobe. We've had these for quite a while. So we're not overly precious about them, but I think this could work. I'm, um, yeah, I'm excited about it. I think it's gonna go good. Okay. I'm not gonna be that humble, am I? <laughs> not for the start. Help me. We don't fully know what we're doing with this, but the plan right now is to take off the top and this side where the slope is, but keep this attached to the bottom. Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. How are we gonna do this? Um, I don't know whether you have to bend down and like pull that and I or vice versa. Okay. One, two, three. We have just cut this piece. As you can see, it should be this tall. This may need a few different cuts to make sure that it's perfect. Slot it in and see. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that's actually closer than I thought it would be. Ooh, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> So for the support, we're going to put basically this little mat on into here and screw through on this side and then we're going to put one on the other side too and we're also going to do them down the bottom. And then we could just cut a bit of MDF or something to fit in there. Yeah. Cover it up. Hopefully. I mean, so far it's going quite quickly and I think semi-smoothly. <laughs> Fuck <Fun>, that. <laughs> Yeah, we were a little bit off there, but we kind of always knew we were going to be because our house is wonky everywhere. So not only is it going at this angle, but this angle, but it's going at this angle as well. And the wall's going at that angle, and it's nothing matches ever. We love it though. We love you weird walls. super clever drilling a hole for the socket point it's not there it's not there it is about down here <laughs> oh dear oh oh that's exciting look at it it's just like cardboard it's cut really well yeah it's cut cleanly but um the um the socket there looks really good oh. Pretty good. That is pretty good. That's like basically that. Not quite as good as the work you did on the socket though. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> you moved the socket, didn't you? No. How did I How move did the you socket? Get so wrong. It's much lower. We do make mistakes, guys. <laughs> it happens. Often. No, I'm not even kidding. When you said like not as good as what you did there, I was like, why oh, did I just get really lucky? It's <laughs> absolutely dead on it. It looks amazing. No, it's terrible. Okay, right. Good morning, guys. We are back on it today. Actually, we spent all yesterday working on the office come dressing room too, but it was stuff that we just wanted to get on with behind the scenes so that we didn't bore you. Um, first one being. The shelves that are going up, which are exactly the same as the bedroom, we learn our lessons with this one though, and we'll go through how we made it much quicker and much better with you <laughs> later. And then the other thing is, as you can kind of see back here, I have been priming the wardrobes. So obviously, because we have, or we're like building them in, we're gonna have to be painting them, which is something that I wanted to do anyway, because to make them seem more bespoke and less Ikea, I wanna hand brush paint them so they've got that lovely brush stroke in there. So what I did is I just marked them slightly, sanded them down basically, and then painted them with 
our favorite, can you see this? Ticaretta base coat. Oh, text bakva. Oh, text bakva. <laughs> Which we love. Um, yeah, and it worked really well. So now we're gonna go in with the same color. I've decided to do the same color as the walls. I just want it to be really sleek and seamless up there, which is Bianco from Fire Earth. So that is my job today, whilst Ollie finishes off and stains the shelves. I draw some holes first. Draw some holes. Draw some really straight holes. Because <laughs> that is one thing we didn't do last time. now playing a super fun game where I have to kneel on the floor watching Ollie drill the hole into the shelf and then he's got um well you can just watch and find out basically the game is I say up or down or fine and whatever I say Ollie has to change the way that he's drilling hopefully to make sure that we have a straight shelf it's a really fun weekend that we have hey or we go buy a drill press. I mean, if I had known that this was the game, then I probably would have said that that was a good idea. Who needs a drill press when you've got one? Down. No, I'll keep that up. Up a little bit. Yeah, fine. Fine, up. Fine. Fine, up. One shot done. Now I bet you're all jealous. <laughs> Okay, so lessons we learned were drill a pilot hole for these holes going into the wall first. We used eight millimeters. Then we used an SDS drill without the hammer action. We used the hammer action <laughs> in the other one and it left sort of holes that big in our wall. So we just drilled SDS drill 12 millimeters and that's about it. Nice yeah, and it holes. went in super easy. Then we basically used a glue to secure these in. Chem 2. This one here. Um, so these are super, super secure in the wall now. And these brackets we just got off of Amazon, didn't we? Yeah. Um, and they've been great. So that is why we had to just drill those holes there. So now hopefully, I mean, this does need a little bit of a hammer in usually because yeah. they're tight. So we'll see how far we can get it in, see if it fits okay. But we do want it tight. But last time we did this, we decided that we'd stain them and then just do this when they were actually finished, rather than trying to jam them in too early. Sorry, I'm speaking really slowly then because I am anxious as to how this is gonna go in. I mean, the holes look like they're good, but... Yeah, it's tight. You need like seven hands to... Okay, you want me to help? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's... That's it. That's it. Yeah. For some reason, we haven't ordered enough of the hinges. I don't know what I was thinking or why. So we're gonna have to do an odd amount to get these doors on now. I don't know if you can slightly, no. On camera, you can't really see the brush stroke or if I'm honest, the difference between the color that they were originally and the new color, but we're going for it. I've done them now. But we're hoping to get the doors on to get them out of the way. It'd be so nice to see what this looks like with all doors on. The wardrobe doors are on. It makes it look so much more relaxing here. We are just waiting for the bit that we painted for over here to dry so that we can put that in. And then we were planning on putting some kind of like skirting board along the bottom and running it through. But we're not sure we're gonna do that. As we said, this is, um, although we want it nice, it's not gonna be something forever. So I think if it had been forever, we would have also put a panel on the back here and made it flush to this back wall and maybe put some like kind of like beading or something along there. Oops, going out of focus. And then obviously the skirting coming around here. But for now, 
This is looking amazing. Just kick that. Ow. Shuffle looks good though. <laughs> really nice. No gaps. Yes. Morning guys, I might be glowing orange because it's lights on, heating on today. It's getting chilly. As you will have seen, Ollie put up the shelves last night. I still love these shelves, even though we've done them before. They just look so sleek. However, I've got the snagging job today. Getting them to fit so flush with the wall, they obviously damaged the wall slightly. So first up, I'm gonna get my magic eraser, and then I need to get my paintbrush out. And over in this corner, Ollie popped in this one, which we had painted the other day. So today I just need to cork it, and he's, or he's secured it, he secured it in, sorry, with glue but also with the nail gun, as you can see here, so I just need to push these in and fill it and neaten it all off. I also decided I'm gonna take down this rail because it takes up Personally for me, I think one of the prettiest corners and it's just covered in clothes. So obviously now that I've got all the wardrobes over there, I don't feel like I necessarily need this space. And I think I might be putting a little rail over the other side, more for decoration. I'm sure lots of you will know this, but if you don't, with raw plugs getting stuck in the wall, all you have to do to get them out is put a screw in. So I've used leftover ones that were in there. And then take the end of a hammer. Ooh. I clearly can't do it whilst also filming. And then it should not do that. Wow. Oh wow, that's a lot more poly filling than I was hoping for. I just had lunch and filled this one. Honestly, that technique works so well. That wall was obviously weaker than I thought. I'm not gonna risk it over here. And I'm not even sure if this way will work, but I'm just gonna be hammering these into the wall to try and hide them rather than trying to pull them out because I don't want any more holes in this room. So that is probably just about enough for me to be able to fill it. Next up, this is probably the last thing that I wanna do in the room. This mirror we've had for quite a few years and to be honest we've gone away from silver quite a lot so i want to spray paint it a different color to fit more with our style i don't think that everything has to be perfect but this is quite a big statement and this one's quite chunky so i'm going to go for this spray paint which is one that we've used quite a few times to be honest we use this one on our living room light um it's dark but like not too black and too matte black which i think could be a bit harsh so what i'm going to do is i'm going to tape it and cover the glass however I mean, it's probably easier just to take it off with a glass scraper afterwards, but I like to protect things. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Ignore what I just said about this spray paint. I've just been to B&Q to pick up another can because this one ran out. And I noticed when I took a picture of this one before I went, I think Ollie swapped over the lid. So this is the lid of the one that you like, but it's actually a different spray paint. So this is the one, <laughs> it's the hammered finish. So now I'm gonna go back over this with the hammered finish. Now working into the night, I have just sanded down the holes that were over here and I'm gonna paint over them. I did paint over this area too, so that's all looking lovely and slick. 
and had a bit of a battle with the rail. The, <laughs> the instructions just weren't so clear, um, but the rail does look nice. So I'll show you, I've just popped a few items on it. I've not started it yet. But in all honesty, I had to wait for Ollie to come home <laughs> to finish off putting this together um, because I just, as much as I tried, couldn't figure it out. But it's done. I'm going to slap some paint on there and then we're going to put the picture above the fireplace. And then I think this evening we're going to bring in the centre of attention for this room, the gorgeous sofa, um, because Ollie's going to have to help me carry it in before I style everything. We did actually have um, the delivery drivers like bring it to the room and unpack it and everything, but I'll talk more about that tomorrow because... I mean, this lighting is absolutely terrible. We're in the dark. I want to show you the pieces in their full glory. Oh, so lovely. You definitely see where you have to Yeah, I've been so that. <laughs> the sky is blue, the sun is high. Satan It's done and I love it before I show you the after. Let's take a quick look back at what it looked like before. And then what it's looking like. So come on in, let's show you around. And I think I will start with my favorite piece. And I think the showstopper of the room, the love seat. So this is the Elliot love seat. And we chose it in the straw coastal linen. I think this color will go with absolutely everything. Let me get a little bit up close so that you can see it. We actually chose this color specifically. And as you know, this house is gonna be adapting and changing over the years. And we thought one day this piece might end up in our living room. So we thought we'd go for something really gorgeous and neutral. Um, and this color just is so lovely because it's got a warmth to it, it's not too yellow. Um, and I just love that it has a little bit of texture. And you can see me coming in here on the button tufted back, which, oh, so gorgeous, really, really beautiful. I think it just gives like a bit of depth and design to the room. So this is actually um, a feather cushion. And it is honestly so, so comfy. And as you saw last night, Ollie and I can very easily sit in this together. And then just down here, I'll show you the feet two, which are hand-turned beechwood legs. Um, and I quite like the contrast from our floor. Um, I think it just looks really, really lovely. You can see it over there too. Honestly, this is somewhere that I will sit all of the time. And that tree behind, I just think this is just such a picture perfect moment. Then next to the lovesy, I felt like I needed somewhere to pop my hot chocolate while I was working up here. So this is the Camilla round nightstand. And I think it's really unique with its uh, round element, which is kind of like French inspired. I um, mean, it's actually crafted from solid oak with also high quality oak veneer. And then you'll be able to tell this color tone is just one of my favorites. It's actually um, lime washed uh, by hand, I think it is, hand applied. So 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 stunning it just really brings out all of the textures in the wood and this one is super lovely i mean just so pretty because it's also got a drawer in it for storage 
so I've decided to put some coasters here <laughs> because I obviously want to protect this one but if you're having this as a nightstand obviously you can use that as more storage uh, but I actually think that it goes it's like very multi-purpose and that's another thing that I loved obviously as I was saying, we want furniture that's gonna grow with our house, grow as the rooms change. So if one day this turns into a bedroom, we can have this as a nightstand. And then you also have, if you want, a lovely shelf at the bottom. Um, so it just adds a lot more storage, but I just thought it was so unique. And because it's round, I think it does go in a lot of different settings because you could have it as like bedside, but it also works ideally here as just a bit of a side table. And then if I come back over here, you can see the wardrobe. So this is the wall that has the door on. The only thing that we still need to do with these is the hinges. You can see that they're a little bit uneven at the top. I didn't get enough hinges. So we need to change that over. And I might put a bit of skirting board on, but I love how seamless they are. I think it's really nice not to have too many clothes on display. And it also just lets the rest of the room do the talking. So on the floor, you'll know we went for our old reclaimed pine floorboards uh, but we stain them in a really dark stain and then this is a vintage rug that I've had for quite a while and then on top of the rug to add the ultimate coziness and because we love having our feet up we've got the Clara footstool and in this one I went for the Cotswolds Weave Ash Grey which again I thought was going to be a colour that would be really versatile go in lots of different rooms as um, it develops and moves with us around the home it's so simple um, yet stylish and obviously very practical because you can pop a drink on it um, I thought it would be lovely that if I have people around they can pull over that chair we can have a drink we can read a magazine oh just lovely or when I'm slobbing around day to day I can sit up there and pop my feet up and it's got that perfect amount of like softness but also firm so that it keeps its shape but both of these items um, I'll be linking everything below but both of them from the Cotswolds company you can get in a lot of different colors and um, you can get samples sent to your door so that you can test them with the rooms um, but yeah these both I would really highly recommend just think they're lovely and then behind the love seat I've got a lamp for if I'm reading or working at night we've got the antique picture that we found it's actually a painting that we found um, at an antique store and also the second hand chest of drawers which we upcycled in another video and all of these items over here are things that we have had before we're just reusing them in this room and then this is the other side of the room so I think I will start with this chair which so many of you noticed in our other room we absolutely love it it's the Camille Lime Wash Oak Rattan chair so it's got the gorgeous rattan at the back and a bit like the side table this one is also hand applied lime wash and it's a mixture of oak and um, high quality veneer oak and I just love that it looks kind of antique but it's got all of the lovely details and this seat cushion pad is so comfortable. When we first got it in, Ollie and I were like looking under the chair to see if it was like sprung or what have you, because it is honestly so comfy. Like we couldn't quite believe it <laughs> and how it was done. And also just to have a look at those legs there. And they're also really, really beautifully carved. Just such a stunning chair. And I love that it really makes a statement in the room. It just makes, if I stand back here, this desk area, looks so beautiful love it you know when i love something that looks good but is also very practical because it's so comfortable the desk um we've had for quite a while that one was um second hand and then this is just like my little workspace and actually i popped some pictures in here and i thought this was so lovely because if you look at these two bottom two they're not the best pictures of us but they were this room before it was made over. So this is our six year anniversary. And you can see some of the posters for that anniversary. We were just up here working on the room and this is the most terrible picture, but you can see us there with all of the clips of the background. Yeah, so I thought it would be a lovely reminder on my desk to remind myself how far we've come and just sometimes you don't realize the journey to you. Um, so I'm leaving that there to remind me every day. And then obviously our shelves, same as the bedroom, exactly the same, same stain as the floor. And we've just put some of, well, I've put some of my favorite pieces in here. We've got the lovely antique paintings and just some ornaments and books up there. And then the last part of the room is over here. So I did decide to keep a rail, but I thought this one looked a little bit more stylish. Uh, it means that you can have a few display pieces, but it's also quite practical. You could put seasonal new bits in, or also if you're like me, 
When I'm going on holiday, I love to put my selection onto a rail before I decide what I'm taking to just organize my outfits. It's just really practical to have a space where you can put things out. And then we popped the mirror back, um, which has obviously been spray painted. I think the color goes so much better in here. It's just really nice to be able to stand here, take in my outfit before I go out admire the rim behind me and um i love the color that this one turned out like you can just see there the kind of hammered effect that it has which i think makes it look a little bit more realistic with the spray so now you guys will be able to visualize where i am most days where i'm working where i'm relaxing it's going to be in this room here thank you for coming along on this makeover i will link all of the furniture from the cotswolds co below definitely head over and check them out. The quality, the design, everything about them, the service was absolutely amazing. Um, they had two guys come and drop off our furniture and they took away all of the packaging as well. So it was absolutely seamless and I would just generally highly recommend. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. I hope that you're all well and have a lovely weekend. Bye.